that are you oppressed um i think that see now that we've like strayed so far away from the topic it's hard to talk about but um yeah i think women are oppressed in the sense that like a lot of their value is based on appearance what how's that oppression i mean because like or is that privilege wait uh, no, i guess privilege. Huh? People get older eventually. And yeah. People who have lived I, by that their whole life, they're like, what's going on? I'm not getting this praise. Once. Wait, so women who can make. Because you don't choose your appearance. Of thousands or millions of dollars. Because you don't choose your appearance. Based off their appearance is oppression. But what about ugly women? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought. Oh. It was, so, I thought so you the, mean hey, like, hang on, hang on. I thought at the beginning of the conversation, beauty was subjective. No, I, I don't think it is. Uh, I, I mean, sure, beauty is subjective, uh, but like, there are the ugly women. women. Yeah, there are ugly women, and those women are treated S the badly. same as men so no, no, no. So they're not men. treated badly <laughs> they get the they get no. equality with men men do not treat ugly women the same as they treat ugly men yeah they do what they treat ugly agree. men like shit what do you mean no they don't yes they do in fact there was a social experiment on this which was done and just via hiring practices they took two men the exact same credentials they both applied to the exact same business for an accounting firm the handsome chad got the job the other guy didn't but they didn't and do then, it with an ugly man and an ugly hang woman on, did hang they on, hang wait on. no this wouldn't the wouldn't the thing here be that would be wait that would be the equivalent though no because that's saying that ugly people in general are treated worse which is true they are yeah, and ugly men are treated better than ugly women. Prove nope. it. No, nope. I can't prove not true. it. That's because it's not demonstrated. Okay, then you prove it. D prove what? I'm saying that they're that it's equal. That ugly people get treated bad. Prove it. That ugly. You just said that that's okay, true. Tr prove that it's equal then. What? That the treatment that ugly is equal. Men, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the position must be falsified. It's your position. All ugly people <laughs> are treated bad, right? Yeah. Okay. So we found the common ground. There. Yeah. We both agree on that. Yeah. Okay. If you want to make the additional claim that no men who are ugly are treated better than women who are ugly, you can't put that burden on me. Okay. Well, there's no way to really prove that. So I can't really go further. I mean, I'm sure that there's it ways that that can be demonstrated. Well, but I mean, not, I'm not here. Sure how. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how you could do it logically. I would just say that no, I think. Ugly, I mean, from my experience, I think that ugly. Like, but you I think that ugly men getting rejected by women and women sneering at them is even worse than when, um, you know, men are rejectful towards women who are ugly. Because but I think women who are ugly still get fucked, and ugly yeah, men, that's true. they don't. That's true. But any I, woman can be. A slut. I think that. Yeah, I think that. Any, Any if you're if you slime, have a vagina, you, know. you can get a. Yeah. That's not true for men, or for people with. So you're finding you love. They're still finding love. No, it's not. It's not that. It's like, I'm saying that a man will treat a woman that he finds unattractive worse than he treats a man that he finds unattractive. What? Like. Yeah, but. Based, what are you basing that on? Based wouldn't, on my experiences. Wait, wouldn't the comparison here be, though, the way women treat ugly men versus the way men treat ugly women? Because you're saying the way men treat ugly men and the yeah, way that's comparing fair, it actually. to the way men treat ugly women. And sorry, I think women about. treat ugly men way better than men treat ugly women. Wait, you think, sorry, what? repeat that? I think women treat ugly men better than... Better? Yeah. Than, wait, men will... We've had... I don't. I don't want to actually say that. That as far as like the women we've had on the show, we've had ugly women who get chivalry. They'll get dates. They'll get they'll because fuck men 100. are desperate they'll have as a body fuck. Count well, then they're getting yes, treated they're getting, better. Then they're getting treated not, better. At least you can have a warm body for a night for a lot of these women. We've had women who can, bro. We have we had this one woman who was not a looker, over very overweight. She f six guys in a day. Okay. She was a sex addict, a hundred men. There was another chick here who was like 400 pounds and she was all she wanted. It was an all you can eat buffet for this chick. I think literally that, like, on two different, on two I'll, different, I'll let you talk, <laughs> but like, it's crazy. So <laughs> these girls looks equivalents would be virgins or incels. Yeah. I think the difference so, though. Go ahead, oh, go sorry. Ahead. Sorry. Well, <laughs> um, all I was just, well, I was, all I was just going to say is that as a woman, even if you're unattractive, you can still get male attention. You can still get a date. You can still get a warm body. Maybe it's not the ideal suitor. Maybe, you know, you don't want that, but you can still get it. And a lot of them opt to still get it. Whereas men, 
They live a life of quiet desperation. <laughs> Yeah, but at least they can have, like, okay, so this is the difference, I think, is that men treat, okay, it's hard to explain, but, um, so ugly men get treated better by men in general, they get treated the same, um, I think, I think ugly women and ugly men get treated the same, Wait, I, sure. I have something on this, continue, continue. Yeah, ugly women and ugly men probably get treated around the same, sure, Wait. by the opposite sex, um, but I but think so ugly so, so 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 men treat ugly women worse than they treat ugly men yes but then I could just say this women treat ugly men way fucking worse than they treat ugly women but I think women treat ugly women better than they better than men treat what? ugly I, women okay I don't know okay. how you would okay so so hang on you're saying you're literally saying the same thing he's saying so it's like a fucked up game of rock paper scissors right so you're like <laughs> okay yeah really you're like okay so ugly men ugly rock uh, paper ugly scissors. men <laughs> are treated better by men than yeah. women and then ugly women are treated better by women than men and then you you counter and you say okay yeah but i guess that's but, fair yeah you say but um you know men are treating ugly women worse and then the I feel like I need to write this down men are treating ugly you know what I mean it's it's this big giant (laughs) circle but you're saying the exact same thing the same sex treats the ugly people better than the opposite sex does that's what you're saying I think that (laughs) in comparison like it's it's hard to explain I think that I think that that's, it's been explained. I think that that's exactly what you mean. Right? Girl, no, I, girls treat ugly relatively, men worse. Relatively, women treat ugly people better than men treat ugly people. I think they just treat people yeah. better than men treat people by the metrics of women, right? I feel like we're just getting into like such a big <laughs> tangle. I'm happy to move it on. Yeah, but, me too. Uh, going to you, are women, are you women oppressed? Are you, am I oppressed? I'm not oppressed. I'm living the oh. life I want. But are women oppressed? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Like in the workplace, especially mm. with the wages and uh, yeah. when Hot, you go to the police yeah. department, if you have an issue, if a woman has an issue, a lot of the time their, their issue oh, will boy. not be even mm. oh, well, listened to. I have to go back to my anecdote here. So the police actually came. The police came when I was attacked. Now, let's put a woman in my situation. So yeah. here's what happened with my case. The individuals were actually located i had to do a lot of the uh leg work for that was able to find the individuals the police interviewed them mm. they confessed to assaulting me mm. confessed on body camera i have the body camera footage yeah. i followed up with the district attorney's office for months mm. months they confessed on camera to the police and in a statement the district attorney did not pursue the charges. But did they tell you that it wasn't as important as other cases, specifically? Yeah, they dropped the case. Yeah. Had it been a woman who got chased down the street by three men and attacked, and not mind you, felony level property destruction, my $2,000 camera was destroyed. Mm-hmm. They said, we're not, I forgot exactly what they said, it was a while ago. We're not going to pursue it. I guarantee you, had I been a woman, they would have prosecuted those guys. They let them get, they let them go completely. There wasn't, there wasn't even a diversion program. And speaking of police, I don't understand how you could say that (laughs) police are oppressive to women. They let them off on speeding tickets all the time. They, um, they literally give them passes on all sorts of things, even as far as, um, as physical restraints, right? If a male officer needs to restrain a female, they'll often actually call another female officer over so that they don't mm-hmm. even touch them. Mm-hmm. They don't even have to touch them. I haven't em. seen that. Yeah, yeah, they do. And they, they'll do but it I for DUIs. They'll do it for DUIs too. They'll do it for DUIs as well. They'll have female officers come in and do the pat downs. This, all sorts of privilege. Whereas the guy's like, get up on that fucking hood, right? They don't care. They don't give a shit. Yeah. So just just wanted to point that out that like uh, no I think that there's a lot more privilege that women get from police officer encounters than men that's for sure. Final thing on on my own anecdote here, uh, if there's any doubts as to so I had to go to civil court 
It could have, you know, they could have handled it. They could have criminally yeah. pursued it and they could have got me restitution without me having to <clears throat> go through the labor and have to like go to the court, yeah. f uh, get them served, etc. I won the civil case. The judge granted me, uh, I forgot what, what's it called when the, uh, damages, he, he um, no, 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 he, he, uh, decided the case in my favor. Uh, <clears throat> he awarded me a judgment against them. Right. Uh, that could have, I could have all been avoided had the DA done their job. Had I been a woman, pretty sure they wouldn't have let those guys off, the, off the hook for doing felony level, uh, property damage and then assault and battery. But Hey, maybe that's just me.